we interrupt working on the report to bring you the latest news of the Austrian presidential election. Because the polls just closed literally five minutes ago. So we're expecting the first results in a few minutes. But to recap, what happened so far? In the first vote of the five candidates, I think it was five, I don't remember exactly, two of the candidates came in the second round. One from the far right, one from the far left. Let's not say far. Then for the second vote, it was really close between those two with only 3000 votes between them. Van der Bern would have won, but the vote was uh, said to be invalid because of, I don't even know exactly, but we had to do it again. So we did it again, almost, but then something wasn't right with the postal vote, so we had to do it yet again, which brings us to today. Now I'm afraid I'm gonna have the same dilemma as with the US presidential election, where I'm just gonna be like, no, but we will see, we'll see what happens. As I said, it's only two more minutes until I expect the first results. Man, this is terrible. How should I work on my report? Computer, can you tell me the results, please? So far... Good, good. It's looking good, it's looking good. Alright, so far we're at 46 to 53 point something for Alexander van der Bellen, which personally I think is good because I did vote for him and I would find it a bit ridiculous if the guy who would have won didn't win because of some formal error which could have happened, you know, but yeah, the, the, whole, the whole Trump situation maybe also influenced that and made some more people go to vote I don't know what the reasons are, and also that's not the final result yet, this is just the first analysis, and last time in the first analysis Van der Bellen was way ahead, and then in the end it was very close, but yeah, it's looking good for now, I think I can go back to writing my report, because the deadline is tomorrow, and I will still keep you informed once I have the final result, and once the sun is set, oh, so nice and red, insert sunset here. So it's looking good for now, and I mean, not much changed, but yes! Yeah! Yeah! Do you know Cheese Noodles guy? There's a guy who went somewhere in the Arctic or wherever, and so he doesn't have to carry all his shit, he buries it on the way there to get it on his way back. And then when he came back, after a very long journey, he found cheese noodles in one of his hideouts and he was very excited about it. Yeah! I wanted to do this for Hillary, but I can't. Um, at least I can do it for Dr. van der Bellen. <laughs> yes! Go Austria, like it, like it, go Europe, go. Oh man, you have no idea how good I feel right now. Not only is Van der Bellen gonna be our next president, but also I managed to do the accuracy and stability analysis of the freaking implicit upwind scheme, which I was struggling with the past five days, so yes! Yeah! Good! Yeah! <laughs> ah, I like that, I like that, I like that. Ah. I'm almost like cheese noodles guy, almost. Oh, I'm close to cheese noodles guy. Not, not quite cheese noodles guy, but yeah. Yes. Yeah! Yes, yes. I don't know the exact results in percent, 
but Hofer admitted that he lost so basically now it's official I mean it I'm still open for discussions from all you Hofer voters and I still want to hear from you because even if Hofer did not become president your issues are probably still valid so I want to listen to you in case there is anyone out there because it didn't really like so far I didn't have any interesting discussions on that topic yet so I'm still in my bubble basically but I'm happy in my bubble right now because my bubble is the winning bubble great but yeah I, sh I try to be more open here um, okay but now <laughs> I'll just open my mouth to get some lunch and you go make a backup and I hope that this is the right direction for Europe